Hi guys, I'm Rahul and today I will teach you how to create bowl and other utensils easily. So the trick that I'm using is revolve trick. That is a pretty easy trick by using the follow me tool. So let's get started. You can use a reference image for creating bowl. But now I'm going with the arc tool from here. It's the bow, simple bow. That's it. Let's create like this. Then go to down here. Bend it in. Create like this. You will get a face here. And I do a revolve trick here. That means you need to create a circle. If you ever used Maya, you know that trick. Revolve. Select this then move it to the center it's not necessary to move to center but so there it is select the path then select follow me tool select click on the that face and here it is your bow it's pretty simple you can create any utensils by doing this trick just create a outline like a outline face that means you need a face like one I just created like this one this one the outline face and you need to use the revolve trick just create a circle then select the path then select the or follow me tool then click on the that face and here it is it's not a hard job it's it's the very easy trick on SketchUp as you can see there is no mask the problem you will face by not using this trick is like this. Click on then you say revolve, revolve and it will do like this. It's really crappy. So don't do like that. The follow me tool is the instruction of follow me tool is select the path, select, uh, select the follow me tool then click on the face and here it is. You can create any utensils by using this trick. It's pretty easy. So let's create it. So let's create a glass using this trick. Revolve trick. I'm using a pencil tool. Then create it like this. Then go like this. It doesn't really matter how the measurements are different. It doesn't really matter for using the roll trick. Just create a outline. The bigger outline. Close it. <laughs> it's, it looks really mess. Create a circle anywhere on the canvas. But I recommend that you to put the uh, in the center because that will create a good job. Okay, here it is. The path is already selected, so select follow me, click on the face. There you go. It's really simple, guys. Oh, it didn't look like a glass at all. But anyway, it is a glass. But that's it, guys. If you want to make it realistic, use a rendering software like Kerkothea Relay. But I recommend Kerkothea because it is simple and powerful. It is a really good like rendering software. You can add lights. You will get a lot, lots of material libraries for free, and the rendering software is also for free. So I just need to render it to show you how it looks when rendering. Rendering finished. Let's have a look on the rendered image. As you can see, it's pretty nice, but there is a problem. There is two problems. First one is it is a very low poly. You can see the poly mesh right here, like a polygon. Second problem is you can see there is a inside mesh around here. I forgot to remove that. You can remove that easily. Just select that outer face, then move that away, delete that other inside mesh. That's pretty simple. So anyway, guys, it's really good I guess I hope you guys like this video if you did please give a big thumbs up comment share if you have any question on your mind please comment down below I will surely answer it 
and more than that please subscribe and stay connected with us for more tutorials like this thank you guys goodbye